What is up everyone? My name is Roy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's video. Today, we are doing another ASOS haul. Now, if you know this website, you know it is huge. It is massive, it is enormous. It's got hundreds and hundreds of brands and designers. It's got hundreds of thousands of things on sale. So I spent some time going through the site, trying to pick out some of the more obnoxious things you can buy. Not just obnoxious, but like still wearable. So let's check out what I picked up. So the first thing I picked up was this mesh cutoff t-shirt. Um, so it is 100% polyester. If you look at it, this thing is actually wider than it is long. Like, I love it. I don't have anything quite like this. I'm not sure how it's gonna look on me, but just looking at it, looking at the design of it, looking at the shape of it, I think it could be really cool and interesting to wear it. So let's see what it looks like on. So I actually really like this. As I said, it is wider than it is long, so it doesn't come down too low on the waist, which I like. It is this thicker kind of mesh, so it is see-through. It is a little bit obnoxious, but it's not, in, in my opinion, it's not too revealing. Like, you could actually wear this um, and not kind of feel like you're being stared at for the wrong reason. So, it's 100% polyester. It's super lightweight. Um, it's got a finished hem and collar. The sleeves are raw, though, so they're just cut. You know, I don't really mind. I think maybe if it was finished, maybe I would like it a little bit better, but this gives it a little like a rougher kind of look, like maybe you made it yourself. Um, but overall, I really do like this. This is definitely obnoxious. This is not something that I'm just gonna wear, you know, to dinner or something like this is festival wear, this is club wear, this is stuff that you're gonna wear when you're going out and you're having a good time. So this is definitely something I will be keeping. So the next thing I picked up was this ASOS branded uh, sleeveless t-shirt. And it is actually a pretty unique design because it's got sort of these mesh stripes that run through it, but it goes completely from the top to the bottom. I'm not sure if this is showing up on camera. When I saw this online, I was a little bit scared because it looked a little bit shiny. It's polyester, so um, I was afraid that the shine was gonna make it look super cheap and not something I would wanna wear. Um, but actually in person, it's not, it's not super shiny. There's a little bit of shine to it, but I would say it's more matte than anything. And I like that. I think if it was shiny, it would look super cheap and it wouldn't be something that I would be wearing. But let's try it on and see what it looks like on. This is definitely something I'm going to be keeping. So this is a unique design. As I said, it's got those see-through mesh stripes, which I don't even know if you, this reads on camera. So I'm assuming you can see that there are some, uh, yeah, there you go. You can see it there. But it's got these mesh see-through see stripes. I don't think, again, this is, in my opinion, would be a little bit obnoxious. Anything see-through on a guy is a little bit obnoxious. But this again is, I don't think it's over the top. I don't think it's overboard. I think it's definitely something that I can wear. It's got the finished hem on the bottom. It's got the ribbed collar on top. But again, just like the white mesh shirt that I just tried on, um, this has got these unfinished sleeves where they literally just hack off the sleeves of the shirt, which it looks fine right now, but I have a fear that you wash it once or twice and it's gonna start to fray on the edges and I'm not sure how well that's gonna look because I don't really see this as being something that um, is gonna look good when it looks super worn. So this might be something that I only get to wear a couple of times before it falls apart and I have to throw it out or donate it. But the size is good, the fit is good. I like the look of it. It's definitely something that I'm gonna be keeping and probably wearing pretty soon. Next up is a large oversized tie-dye print shirt, which this is evidence why you can't trust everything that you see online. Because when I saw this online, I thought this would be really cool. This would be something that I would definitely wear. And then you get it in person, you look at it, and it just is not right. On so many levels, this is not right. I'm gonna try it on, but I know right away I'm not keeping this. Out of the package, it looks, it's not, it's brand new, but it looks dirty, it looks dingy, it looks faded and not in like a good, design kind of way, it just looks off. I thought it was tie-dye, but if you actually turn the fabric inside out, there's no dye on the inside. 
So that means that this is a print on the outside of the fabric. This was not a true tie-dyed shirt. If it was a true tie-dyed shirt, you would be able to turn it inside out and you would still have the same design on the inside. So looking at the size of it, it's huge. I can see right away it's way too big for me. If I were to keep this, I'd have to tailor it down so that I could wear it. Uh, it's got these weird, um, they have hems on the bottom and on the collar and on the sleeves, but then they've slashed the hem open so that you still have an unfinished edge. So you have a hem, but with raw edges. And I guess that was like a design thing that they tried to do. I don't really like the look of it because it just kind of opens up and splays out on the edges. I really don't think I'm keeping this, but let's try it on and see what it looks like on. Yeah, guys, this thing is just ridiculous. Um, I don't even need to spend much time on this. It's way too big. Like I said, the colors just look dingy in person. I thought they'd be really bright and vibrant based on what you saw on the website, but uh, in person, it's just a no. So I really think tie-dye is gonna be in this year. So um, tie-dye is one of those fads that kind of comes and goes, and I currently don't have any tie-dye. So I was excited to find something like this, but if it looks like this and it fits like this, uh, it's just not something that I know I'm gonna wear. So I'm going to be sending this one back. Now, speaking of tie-dye, I did pick up another shirt, which out of the box, this thing looks much better for me. The colors on this, are just so cool. They're so awesome. They're very South Beach to me. Uh, if you turn this one inside out, you will actually see that the print goes through, or the dye actually goes through the entire shirt. So this is a true tie-dye shirt, because the pattern on the inside is the same on the outside. This is a Polo uh, Ralph Lauren Custom Slim Fit Montauk Cream Tie-Dye T-shirt. You got some tags attached here. So let's read this. Uh, this product has been created using a multi-level tie-dye process and hand detailing. Each one is unique and any unevenness and irregularity is part of the artisan appeal. Artisan. Uh, due to this process, this product will continue to age and fade over time. Please note the color may rub off on light color material, fine. This is what a quality tie-dye t-shirt should be like. Um, on the front, you have this detailing, which is sort of a retro early 90s polo font again it just it, this reminds me of south beach i'm gonna love it i go to miami a couple times a year um the size on this looks a little bit small so this is a large but it's slim fit so i probably should have got an extra large but i'm gonna try it on um hopefully it fits me well enough uh let's see what it looks like on though So yeah, this is definitely a slim fit t-shirt, which is fine because everything I own doesn't have to be oversized. It's nice to have some things that are fitted and a little bit tighter. Um, so it is a little bit tight in the chest. It's a little bit tight in the arms. The arms probably bother me more than the chest. So I'm gonna look online to see if they have one size larger. If they don't, it's fine, I'm gonna keep it. If it bothers me, I'll take it to a tailor and they can cut off the sleeves and I'll just make it into a tank top. But I really love the colors. Again, I don't have any tie-dye, so this is definitely something I was looking to add. To my closet, I love the retro print. As I said, it's 100% cotton, so the colors are gonna sort of meld and, and fade as you wear it over time, which I like. This is definitely a higher quality t-shirt than that other piece of junk. As I said before, tie-dye is gonna be super popular this year. It's gonna be super trendy, super in. So if you don't have anything that's tie-dye in your wardrobe currently, go out and find something. You're gonna look super cool this summer. Guys, last up in this super obnoxious ASOS haul are these Zebra Print Bershka Slim Fit Denim Shorts. So I love animal print. I have a couple of things that are animal print and I'm looking to add more to my closet because honestly, I look at animal print almost as a neutral. When you look at these colors, you know, you can pair this with any type of solid color t-shirt you'll be able to wear with something like this because at the end of the day, this is black and white. So um, when I find stuff like this that it can really act as like a basic neutral in my wardrobe, I think they're great. Um, I wanna try them on because these are slim fit, so I usually go up at least one size when I buy slim fit things because they tend to be a little bit too tight on me. So in this case, I did go up one size. Looking at them, they look fine. They look a little bit tight in the legs, but let's try them on and see what they look like on. 
So the fit on these were actually great. Um, you can see just pairing it with a plain white t-shirt like this is really all you need to put this kind of outfit together. I definitely don't have anything zebra in my wardrobe currently, so this was definitely an awesome find to find on the ASOS website. It's definitely obnoxious, but at the end of the day, it's obnoxious but still wearable. That was the point of this whole haul, was to find things that were a little bit crazy, a little bit obnoxious, a little bit of, you know, you're gonna get an eye when you wear it, but at the same time, you don't look stupid. The stuff is totally wearable, and I actually can't wait to wear it when the weather gets a little bit warmer. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and share it with a friend. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel where I post lifestyle, fashion, and advice videos all designed to be simple and help boost your happiness and your well-being. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. See you next time.